Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to the actual episode 15 of The Adventures of Denisha. It's festival time in the Shire. Today is actually October 31st, so that's the day I'm actually filming this. And it's Halloween, and it's fall festival here in the Shire. So we're going to take this episode and actually go to the festival and we're going to play around in the haunted burrow. So we're going to pick up some of the quests. And here's our fellow revelers. Oh, cool. It looks like. Oh, I was thinking it's an actual. There we go. The second breakfast, very cool. <laughs> the second breakfast is actually one of the kinships here on Krakalo and it's actually one of the kinships that I'm looking into having some of my characters join because they do events like this. They also do um, raiding and group adventures, instances, things like that. Whoops. Let's move that over a little. So if you're on Crick Hollow and you're thinking about joining a kinship and you're not quite sure, Take a look at Second Breakfast. It, it, it appears to be a very cool kinship. I haven't, like I say, I haven't joined it yet, but I'm giving it very, very serious thought. Okay, tell you what, let's go ahead and go into the burrow. But let's pick up, here it looks like this is the, in the beginning quest. I want a word with you. Talk to Labelia Baggins at Bag's Inn. Okay, let's go do that first. You have to do this quest before you can do any of the others. And I think it's primarily kind of an intro quest. So let's run up here to the top of the hill. so cool to see so many other player characters. Well, the call of some folk. Okay, so now now we have to go talk to Gaffer Gamgee. Oh, and we don't want to do Lobelia's fireworks. That's one of the quests here that uh, that you can do in the Shire and it's not one that I'm going to that we're going to do with Denisha. So we have to run down the hill and talk to Gaffer Gamgee. And he's just on the other side of this hedge. Just a moment. Okay, I'll wager Labilia sent you to inquire after that new door going to the Bags Inn's lovely burrow. Okay, so we'll finish this. Don't walk off. I need to speak with you. Alright, so we have to ask the gaffer about Bilbo's letter. What do you need? And we have to bring the letter to Labilia. Okay, so we'll go do that. Hey, what? We're gonna make it a little bit faster. Let's just mount up. Yeah. 
Yeah, once you get through the intro quest, and you only have to do it once, so like for next year's fall event or harvest event, you won't need to do this quest. It's just a one-time deal. But we'll go ahead and see if we can't finish it real quick. And then get into the haunted burrow. Well, the goal of some folk. How rude! It's been a foul day, it has. It's been a foul day, it has. Well, the goal of some folk. Okay. Don't you turn your And back. now we can go ahead and enter the haunted burrow. And we get three fall festival tokens for completing this, which is pretty cool. And that's all we need to do. So now we can go back down and actually go into the burrow. So let's hurry back down the hill. Now there's lots of quests and such that you can do that doesn't involve going in the burrow. Like you can learn to dance. Um, there's a trick or treat type of uh, of quest. There's a there's a whole bunch of things. And why do I not let's see? There should be quests here. Talk to Labilia. Oh, inside the burrow. Okay. So now we have to go inside. And this is very cool. This is like a haunted house. It is just too cool. And to be honest, I don't know where Labilia is in here. Whoops. Tell you what, let's see if we can find... Great, doesn't say where she's at. I love these bottles. There she is! I've been tricked. This place is not but a monster-filled, spook-ridden, crawly-infested hole in the ground. Bilbo tricked me into thinking this was anything worth my while in this abominable cellar. How I loathe him with all my heart. Okay, so now we need to talk to Opal Goodbody to discuss the fate of the haunted burrow. And I believe it's not pleased the cellar. Okay. I think she may be outside. Yep, there she is. Cool! And now, all the quests are now available. So if you look around, you see all the people with the rings. And what we're going to do, is we're going to go over to this gentleman and pick up his quest. Can now you can, a moment of your time? you can only do these quests one at a time. So we're going to go and find the rattling in the haunted burrow. We have to find the source of the rattling in the attic. So I just love looking around at all the different characters. Oh, what a cool horse. Okay. Let's go in. And you can hover over the doors. Some of them are locked, some of them aren't. And there are secret passages, which is really kind of cool. You can look around. I would love to be able to have a house like this. But I tell you what, let's go ahead and get going because I know the attic is down this way to the right. Ooh, bat. Mm, I love how things are popping up. And then now we have darkness. 
and we need to click on the chain. Ooh, and somebody's coming. Rattle, clack, I'm coming for you. Alright, and you have to fight him, which is not a big deal. Oh, hey, I'm not really a monster. Only a hobbit playing a prank. Okay, now you have to figure out how to get out because you can't get out the way you came in. Ha ha ha. Luckily, we can go around this way so we don't go into darkness again. Oh no, bats! And this is the door out. So we're back in the main cellar. Da -da -da. Ooh, a what a neat outfit. Day, isn't it? Now, you can do these quests once a day. And Hello the... There. Might I speak with you a moment? And the festival is up for two weeks. Now, I'm at the tail end of it here, so it's only until next Tuesday, but that's okay. Alright, so now we need to go and find the cobweb wing and... Let's see, and find the source of the roaring. So let's see here. Nope, that's the creeping wing. Up, oh, that door's locked. Oh, cobweb wing. Oh no, spiders! And we've been webbed. Okay, chances are, oh, I was figuring chances are she had, uh, she was doing the quest too. So all we have to do is we just click on the jar of honey. Ooh, and there's the, there's the, the bear. Okay, there's the source of the roaring. Haha, -ha, I'll get you. I don't think so. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me! Okay. So now we have to go back out to Polo Proudfoot. Or Puddlefoot, rather. Now sometimes figuring out, now I've been doing this for a while, but sometimes it's kind of hard figuring out, how do I get out of here? Because not all of these will let you out. Okay, now we're in the creeping wing. Let's see how we get out of here. Up, oh, there's a door. Ooh, into the basement. Okay, in the basement, as you come in, go through the secret passage, and there's a chest. Click on the chest. You again can do this once a day, and you get fall festival tokens. That's very cool. Turbine did a great job with this burrow. Alright, now we have to figure out how to get out of here. And... This isn't the way. I think this is the way. Yep, here we go. And now we're back in the burrow. Okay. Now let's go over and cash this in. Good day. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Now we want to go into the creeping wing and find the source of the wailing. 
Oh, that's a neat outfit. That's a very cool outfit. Denisha needs to get an outfit. Okay, I believe the... Yep, Creeping Wing is this way. Ah, and there's a candle. So you want to click on the candle. Ooh, a ghost. And another little silly hobbit playing a prank. So now we have to... F f oh no! Phantoms. Oop! And that one we can't get through. We don't have the right... The right quest, so we're gonna have to backtrack. What's in here? Ah, here we go. This is the way out. We're back in the basement. So we kind of remember where we were. And now we're back. Okay. One thing I want to show you, though, is there's another area to get tokens. And that is, we come back to the back of the burrow and go in here. Go to the main living room, and there's a chest. Click on the chest. Then there's also another chest here. Or a lockbox. Well, that's kind of a neat little outfit. And then the last place is the strong box. So these, those are freebie tokens that you can get each day without having to do any kind of questing. Okay, now let's head out. I remember I was so frustrated the first time I tried this because I didn't know about the secret doors and I couldn't get anywhere. I was so irritated. How do you do? Okay. So there we go. Oh, that's cool. What a neat effect. Now, one thing you'll want to be aware of is when you get all these tokens, you're going to want to go ahead and barter them. And this is a young lady here that Daddy, is the trader. So there's a variety of things. You can look on the Wikipedia and that'll show you a lot of the... Uh, that'll give you an idea of what all is available. I'm not going to purchase anything just yet because I want to give some thought to it and I don't want to have to do it while... Uh, I don't want to tie you up while we're doing it, so what we're going to do now is let's go back in the haunted burrow, and we're just going to kind of walk around. I want to kind of, to kind of just look around, because we kind of ran through it, so let's go this way. So that's kind of neat, and I love the wolf head, or I guess it's the warg head. And unfortunately, that's not a decoration that's available, which is a real shame. Now, one thing too, for all these quests, there's information about how to complete them on the wiki. So don't be concerned about, you know, not being able to find anything. Because for example, one of the quests is finding all of these scared hobbits. 
and there's six of them and on the wiki it actually gives you a map now if you actually want to go through and and, and find them you know on your own that's perfectly fine um, the problem is some of these quests are timed and so if you don't if you don't really know what you're doing it can be a real problem so because there's nothing more frustrating than running out of time while you're doing these let's go back through the bookcase now when you're going through and you and you get in these dark areas they uh, there is a cooldown so if you get hit by one there we go and also if you watch your radar it'll give you an idea about where you're at now we're back in the basement and there are quests to be able to find different items uh, which is what all of this is about but again we're not going to do it right now and it does kind of make you sick as you're in here but I just love this area I just this is so cool. Of course, Halloween is, is my favorite holiday of the year, so this just so fits in with the, with my enjoyment. So Okay, so let's head back down this way, and of course you have little scary things like this that's come out at you. Man, this would be so cool to have in your uh, in your house. Wouldn't it be neat to have a kinship house like this? What's down here? Let's go into here again. Go into the creeping wing, and with this time, we'll take just kind of take a look. And each different wing has its own special creature that haunts you, like the the spirits here. Ooh, that oh, that sound. Aha, it said it was going to go into the basement, but obviously it didn't. Oh, and now he's fighting the little hobbit. And the red-eyed raven. No, I think we tried that before and it didn't take us to the basement. Let's find another one. Like this one. Well, I'll be darned. That one takes us to the basement too. Oh, there's a little hobbit with a cool outfit. I've got to get something like that for Denisha. Okay, well that's pretty much it for our tour of the of the haunted burrow. One other thing that I'll, that I'll show you here real quick. If you're interested in joining the in league or the Ale League, you can do that here. Okay, here's the gentleman that'll let you become an In League member. And, oh, I thought, yep, these guys are for the Ale Association. So, now, this is kind of neat. You, There's no 
unless you look at the wiki or something, there's nothing that really tells you about this, but you can bob for apples. So we're going to bob for apples. We found a medium apple. We give it to this gentleman. I'm pleased to be of service. And you can get festival tokens. So we're actually going to barter this apple for two festival tokens. Okay. And another area that you can go to is back over here. Hello there. And Might I speak with you a moment? This hobbit lets you go ahead and do the troves and trickery, which take a look at the wiki and it'll give you a little bit more idea of what you need to do. But basically you go to four different people and you do specific emotes to trick them. Once you've completed it, then you can come back here and cash it in for tokens. Now, if you take a look under my radar, you'll see that for some reason I did accept it and it's on a timer. So I'm not going to go ahead and do it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cancel the quest. And I won't be able to pick it up again for five minutes, which is fine. So, but anyway, this is the, uh, the Fall Harvest Festival. Uh, I consider it to be the Halloween Festival. And uh, it's a lot of fun. If you get a chance, you know, if you're, well, <laughs> by the time you see this video, it'll be gone. But hopefully if you're, uh, hopefully you had a chance to, to visit it while it was active. Uh, if not, by all means, try it again you know, next year. And, um, and that's it. We're, we're going to go ahead and end everything here. So I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed taking you through the Haunted Burrow and, you know, doing the couple quests that we had an opportunity to do. Um, if you did like it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.